to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about how I take care of my hair. As most of you hopefully know, um, I do have a pixie cut or I did have a pixie cut for quite a while. I am starting to grow it out again. I did cut it short because I do have issues with tangling and frizziness. So I just decided to cut it all off and now I'm really missing my long hair. So I do take some extra steps in my daily routine to take care of my hair and make sure that it is healthy. So the first thing I do is I don't wash my hair every day, which is a major challenge for me because normally, or I used to always wash my hair, I can't stand going a day without washing it, but I'm trying to teach myself to not do so. So on days where I don't wash my hair, I do use the Batiste dry shampoo. I have used other brands, but this one is currently my favorite. This is the Divine Dark. And this one's okay if you accidentally spray it somewhere, like on the back of your neck. You really have to make sure that you wash it off and that you don't just spray it and leave the house because it will stain you. Um, I will actually show you that. I'm going to get a makeup wipe here. So, as you can see there, it does have a pretty dark uh, spray to it. But this does a pretty good job of soaking up excess oils. I do have an oily scalp. I do have quite a few other Batiste formulas that I'm going to be trying out. But currently this is what I'm using and I use this. I usually wash my hair every two to three days. So I'm using this when I'm not freshly washed. I usually start using it the day after I take a shower because my hair does tend to get oily that fast. Okay, so this is an uh, without silicone shampoo. This is a no silicone shampoo, and it is also, it contains B3 and B5 vitamins, which are really good for your hair. This is just a Balea one. Um, you can use any shampoo that you want as long as it is silicone free. Uh, most, I, th I think most brands now are, I'm not totally sure, but this is the one I use. It's vanilla and olive, uh, olive oil. Almond oil. Um... I like this one okay. I did buy, I used to use this. This was the only one I would use when I had really long hair because this would really help with the tangling at the ends. I do have a sensitive scalp, so having tangles is really not a fun process. Now that I have shorter hair, it still does an okay job. It does leave a little bit of too much oil behind, so I will be switching this out as soon as I use it up, but I don't want to waste product. So like I said, make sure you're getting a silicone-free shampoo, and that will be a lot better for your hair. So next I want to talk about the brush I use, and this is the Wet Brush. That's the brand name. And this is the only brush that I use on my hair. It has really flexible, soft bristles. I mean, it doesn't sound soft, but it is specially made to not pull on your hair. Um, this is the only one that I trust with my hair. It does an awesome, awesome job. And I brush my hair usually about three times a day, um, which can add excess oil, but I find that three times is usually about what I can handle. Obviously when I wake up, and then I will do it before I go to bed, and then I'll do it in the afternoon once. So this is a really awesome brush. I'll link this company below if you'd like to check out. They have a couple of different brushes. This one is just my favorite, so I will link them below. And the last thing I want to talk about is products. Now. Before I get into that, I do want to say I don't heat style my hair, I don't blow dry, I don't straighten, I don't do anything to it, um, but I do put a lot of product in it to help it stay healthy and to help it grow. And the first one I use, this is from Post Qualm, this is an argan oil, and I use this once a day when my hair is damp. Um, so I will dampen my hair usually with a spray bottle and then I will add this in. This, this is an evaporating formula which means you're not going to get any kind of oily residue left behind. And so far I've really been liking this oil. I haven't been using it as you can see for too long. But I do really like it so far. It has really softened up my hair and I don't feel like I have as many frizzy days as I used to since I started using this. So I usually take about about one drop of this because I have such short hair, but you can use obviously as much as you would need for your hair length and your hair type. So I usually use one drop of this. Then I use one pump of this Icon Serum. This is an anti-aging therapy for your hair. And basically what this is going to do is 
restore the youthful shine and uh, repair split ends and make it just look a lot better. Um, I have color treated my hair in the past. I am no longer color treating it, but I used to. And I do have some split ends, so this just makes everything smooth and pretty. Then I use one pump of this serum from Balia. This is a volume serum. I put this in my hair because I do have very fine straight hair and it does not have a whole lot of volume so I do add this uh, just to give it a little bit of extra bounce and a little bit of life I guess I should say. And this I just added to the routine. This is the Caviar CC Cream. This is a hair protectant, a 10 in 1. It protects against anti-breakage, it protects against heat, it protects against UV, everything. And, and it adds moisture, it adds shine. It's a really awesome product. I got this in my April, what is it, the Look Fantastic box, I think. Um, and so far, I'm really, really liking it. I add about an, like a pea size amount, and then I just take all four of these and mix it in my hand, and then spread it in my hair, and then brush through with my wet brush, and let it air dry. So those are really all the steps that I take for my hair. I thought it would be interesting for me to share that with you guys. If I add anything new, I will make sure to update this video. So, thank you so, so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There should be a link somewhere on your screen. Also appearing on your screen is a link to my blog, and down below are two links to other videos I've made that might interest you. My social media is all linked in the description bar, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, if you're interested in checking any of that out. And I will see you in my next video.